I often come to Saidpur village to paint, because it's one of the most beautiful places in Islamabad. Islamabad was built in the 1970s, and this village was here long before the town. It's next to the Margala Hills, a nature reserve, which borders Islamabad. Since the coronavirus lockdowns, leopards have been coming down from the hills. Saidpur village is just on the edge of town, and there's a particularly lovely old Hindu temple, deserted these days, but well kept up by the diligent caretaker. It's a private spot where no one comes to disturb you while painting, and there's plenty of bougainvillea to provide shade. The paint gets dry very quickly in the heat, so one normally can't stay out for more than a few hours. In the afternoon, I'll often paint inside instead. I set up still lifes in my studio, after whatever I have in the house. I particularly enjoy painting eggs. I get the eggs from a friend who has an organic farm called Isley Fresh, so I can see what happy conditions the chickens live in. I've always admired the work of William Nicholson, and perhaps because of that I love to paint shiny things. When I run out of things to paint I go to a local antique shop and I've gathered together quite a collection. When I was younger I always had a host of exciting career plans. Painting would be there in the middle of the page and I never found a way to include it. My career as a lawyer took me around the world, first to Sierra Leone, where I worked for many years supporting women who were wronged gain access to justice. I then moved on to a host of other countries doing similar work, and eventually to Pakistan. One summer, I was ill in hospital in Italy, and read on Google that someone with my symptoms had only a 50% chance of survival. It was absolutely wrong, and I was completely fine, but it struck me at that moment that I didn't want to die without having got my paintings out of me. After that, I tried to paint more while continuing with my legal work, but it wasn't really possible. So I thought more and more about painting full-time, and eventually decided to give it a go. I never get tired of painting, it's what I want to do every day. If I haven't painted for the day, I feel dissatisfied. I feel really lucky that I sometimes get to do fascinating legal work too, which exercises a different side of my brain. I now live partly in Pakistan but I also get to spend time painting at my late grandmother's place in Tuscany. And I paint in Dorset, where I was partly brought up. And in London. And in fact, wherever I can take my painting things. <laughs>